Okay, so I'm going to be showing you how to do borders and text effects in the GIMP because there's no default ability to do it if you click on text, scroll down, there's no way to do a border by default. So I'm going to show you a workaround. So let's go ahead and make a new file. 420 by 300 is fine. So here we go. Let's go ahead and make a new layer. Oh, if you don't have this layers, brushes, paths, that thing, you can go dialogues, create new dock, layers, channels, paths, and then if you want to, if you want to add things to it, you can go, you can, um, you can go dialogues, select anything on the list, click on it, and then you'll be able to drag it into this dock. So anyway, I already have this dock visible. So we're in a new layer. No, we aren't yet. Now we're in a new layer filled with transparency. So let's go ahead and select the text tool. Mine's already selected. Let's do something red. And I don't know what kind of font. Um, Auto Realm Mentalin. You probably don't have this font if you don't have the program Auto Realm, but I do, so I have it. So let's just go ahead and click somewhere. I are making te texts. Okay, it's a bit stupid, but th what are you going to do? Okay. Now, d before you close the thing, you're going to hit Create Path from Text. In, two, in GIMP 2.3, I'm using 2.2, but in GIMP 2.3, there's also a Create, there's also a Make Text a Long Path function here, but this version doesn't have that, so Create te Path from Text. Then, if you go back into your Layers Paths thing, you'll click on the one that says Paths, and you'll see this path has been created here. So, anyway, go ahead and make another new layer. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead in this layer, double click that, and see that it went all weird looking? That's because you're selecting the path and it inverts all the colors of thunder. So let's go, uh, hold on, first select a color. Let's do blue border, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to go edit stroke path. Now then you're given this dialog here. Let's go ahead and make it a bit wider. Stroke. Um, switch to a different tool. I switched to the 10. Okay, see? So that's bordered now, but it doesn't look great. See all the weird diagonals going off? So what we're going to do is undo that. Go back. Reselect the path. Now stroke it. But instead of doing this, go stroke with a paint tool. I like the paintbrush because it's anti-alias. And there we go, it's a lot smoother. Okay, so now we have that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and switch the order of those two layers if I can. Okay, I have to do it like that. Um, so... Let's go ahead on this set, on this layer make an, another one of these text effects. So I'm going to select that again. Go down to that over here. Let's do green. And Oh look, there's a stroke path button right here. And Let's go ahead and cancel that, actually. And let's make the paint hole bigger first. 19. Then go back to paths. Double click that path. Stroke the path. Stroke with the tool. Click stroke. And switch to the to different tool. Whoa! Oh, I know. I, I did want to do that. Just need to switch the order of the two layers. There we go, so we've got red, blue, green like that. 
Now let's do something even more awesome. Let's go ahead and make this blurred. So filters, blur, motion blur, um, linear blur. There's a preview of it up here, but we aren't seeing much change, are we? Uh, that's weird. It's not showing up in the preview box. Well, maybe if I check preview, it would help. Huh. Wow. Who to thunk it? Okay, let's make it a little shorter. So we are seeing the preview now. And that's kind of neat. Now, let's do another little effect. I'm going to go over a little over the top with these effects, just because I can. So... Now we're in the blue layer, filters, uh, let's do a soft glow effect, what do you think? Okay, soft glow effect, that's the preview of it, let's, uh, that decreases the glow, oh wait, I don't know how that function works, brighter, less sharp, okay, there we go, oh, then, if you want to actually turn it into an image and not just a bunch of layers, what you do is, oops, is you make that new layer there, then you merge down, merge down, merge down. There you go. Now you've got this single image there. And that's how you do borders and text effects in the GIMP. Okay, that ends this tutorial. Rezat Productions.